Hi everyone, this is Atul from Team K21 Academy and in this video we're going to look at the first and the most important thing that you do in Terraform, that's provider. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at what the providers are. We'll look at some of the common providers, different type of providers that are available and then we'll log into or we'll connect using our Microsoft or Visual Studio code that we installed in one of the previous lessons and then uh, connect to the providers and download the pro provider so you can see how this provider look like what are the directories that get created when you connect to that or access that provider so just on a very basic uh, on a very quick short overview for keeping beginners in mind that provider is nothing but a plugin uh, that basically connect to the account on which you want to provision your or automate your resources it could be cloud it could be on-premise uh, and typically, if it's cloud, then you have the common cloud providers like AWS, Azure, Google, Kubernetes, etc. And then there are other um, providers as well, like for on-premise, on if you're doing a VMware and a lot of other things that you're doing for on-premise as well. So the first thing you're going to do is, uh, or, or this plugin will have everything, or this provider will have, I'm going to use word plugin or provider interchangeably because ultimately that's a plugin or executable that sits on the machine where Terraform is running, in this case, our laptop, where we have installed Visual Studio in one of the previous lessons. So you download or you run this, uh, or when you connect, which I'm going to show you in a minute how it look like, uh, or what exactly gets downloaded. So that will have all the necessary uh, APIs the using which you're going to connect to the actual uh, destination where you're creating resources on cloud or on-premise. So quickly on to look at how does provider look like what you or first of all how do you go and access providers so you go to this url or on registry.terraform.io and that is where you will have all the providers so url will be putting it in the show notes on this video so the three different type of uh, providers one is official this is official is the one which is done by terraform and these are managed and work by terraform and i'm going to show you how does it look like the Terraform one, or sorry, the HashiCorp one. So HashiCorp is the company which uh, is doing this Terraform. So then you have a verified one, which is not by HashiCorp, but by providers. Let me show it to you here. So for example, you have Alibaba Cloud, and there are other um, providers like Akamai uh, for, uh, or Artifact from JFrog, uh, sorry, Artifact, uh, Artifactory from JFrog and so on. All these are the providers which are, which, these are the providers which are managed by uh, the vendors, but these are verified by HashiCorp. Then you have the community one, which are developed by community. So in the program, we are going to mostly work with the official ones or for Oracle in Oracle case, the one which are given by Oracle. Now, um, in order for you to see how does provider look like or how do you access or uh, or download these providers, these providers will be downloaded when you first time run your Terraform init command and what this Terraform init apply or um, destroy will cover that separately or I'll, I'll explain you as we go into this section. So if you look at click on the provider that you want to go and this is where you see all the provider details, it will say that it's by HashiCorp and how do you use this provider? If you have to use this provider, you're going to use this and select this line here. And this is what we are going to use or how you're going to use that, I'll show you. So this is for AWS. Similarly, if you go back to the Azure, you go back to the same thing here and you say use providers. And this is the code that we are going to use for provider. And then similarly, if you go back and if you're going for Oracle, we can search if it's not something is not available here We'll look at search here. Now, Oracle has two ones. One is official from HashiCorp, which is HashiCorp Oracle Pass, platform as a service. And then you have Oracle OCI, which is done by Oracle. And we'll be using Oracle dash forward slash OCI as we do go for Oracle cloud providers. So other thing, which is like, there's a provider for Kubernetes as well. And if you want to build or do something in Kubernetes, then again, same thing, you use this provider. This is how you get the provider. And I'll explain what each of these meaning is. So just this is just to give an idea about uh, the provider. Now, next is we are going to use the Microsoft Visual Studio code that we installed one of the previous lessons. And if you have not done that, I'll highly recommend you to pause it here, go and download this Visual Studio code so that you can work with me as we move here on this. Now, just a quick overview which i've already covered earlier but just for those who have just or overlooked it 
uh, we have already downloaded and installed one of the extensions and this extension was HashiCorp Terraform for syntax highlight highlighting um, and auto completion. Any command that I'm going to give you or select type something and put a tab, it will automatically suggest me those commands. So this is highly recommended. Now, other thing is that uh, we opened and created folders in this uh, and we uh, created folders which are mapped to my uh, laptop here. So I've created under C drive Terraform folder inside that I have a code and then all I'm going to run these multiple uh, providers where I'm going to write code in the specific section. So as we move forward in the training, we'll have respective sub modules in that I'm going to write the code as well. And that is where we have selected these folders here from here. I've created this. We can create this folder from here or files from here. Also for terminal, um, you click on this terminal here and say new terminal and I'll see this terminal um, here as well. And give me this terminal that I'm going to use as well. So or run my commands. All my commands will be run from here. So right now and currently on this folder. And if you look at and do all the Unix or Linux, both type of commands you can run like uh, PWD, LSCP. If you're familiar with Linux, you will work on Linux. If you're familiar with Windows, you can work on Windows commands as well. So I've created these directories which we have uh, earlier here. So now let's look at, first of all, how you're going to use this code. Um, so we'll go with, we'll begin with AWS. So I'll go back to providers here and click on AWS here. And what we're going to look at is this use provider. Now you copy as it is this one and put it. First thing you're going to do is, and you can keep it anywhere you want, but uh, when you're going to run the command um, first time, so wherever you're going to keep this file, that is where you're going to run your commands from. And I'll explain you what I mean by that. So what I have is I have AWS folder and that's a empty folder. There's nothing, I've cleaned up everything and under code AWS, this is the first time we are starting and with a blank slate here. So what I'm going to do is in order for me to write my, or start my coding, first thing is I'm going to create a new file here and we'll write it as provider.tf. Now one thing here, quick tips here, whatever you do, keep it in uh, this file or this folder with a TF extension when I'm going to run command called Terraform in it, which is initializing. And that is where and Terraform plan or apply or any command I run, it's going to run it from this command, this folder. I'm, I need to run it from this folder where AWS folder is or wherever your scripts are or this Terraform commands are. And it'll go to run or pick up all the files with .tf extension. So important thing to note. And as we progress, move forward, I'll give these tips as we move forward. But for now, we'll start with very basics. So I need to pick my Terraform provider here and select this provide code here and then put it on my right hand side here. And then for me, another important tip is here. If you see block box dot dot here, dot means the file is not saved. So I'm going to run it and say control S and save it. It has saved it. Now, if I do under AWS folder, CD AWS folder and do, there's only one file called provider.tf. If I go back onto this folder here, now this provider.tf is there. Now, once this file is there, the details about this provider uh, is here. Now, in order for me to download all the required files, I'm going to run my first command, which is Terraform and then in it, which means I'm initializing. And when you do first time you do in a particular, you're in any folder, you need to initialize the Terraform first time. And when it's going, when you're doing the initializing, initialization, that is where it's downloading the required plugin or provider from using this code that we have done. So we are not connecting to actually AWS right now. We are connecting right now to HashiCorp site. And from there it's downloading AWS and then plug in this plugin. And let me explain you why it's downloading, what exactly it's doing or what this code look like. So first we are saying Terraform block and everything in Terraform is using or HashiCorp language dot HCL is using these blocks. So we have Terraform and it's saying, um, I need this provider. So it's always like required underscore providers. And in this case, uh, you have AWS as the provider and the source is coming from where exactly this provider is coming from and HashiCorp forwards means it's coming from a HashiCorp website. If it's like for, for example, Oracle dash, that means it's coming from Oracle and so on. The version of this plugin is 4.14.0, 4.14.0. And then rest all later, we are going to use this 
provider AWS and we'll put all our configurations and other things as we move forward. We'll create machines, we'll create network, etc. And those entry will come here below that. But for now, we've just downloaded the uh, plugin. So just to understand here from here, what exactly is done. So if you look at it, it's saying in initializing the provider plugin and it's looking for the HashiCorp AWS version, which is matching to this version, which we want 4.14.0. And here it's installing this HashiCorp plugin and this, this plugin is signed by HashiCorp. And if you read out, let me make it bigger. And it's saying successfully initialized. And if you do it LS now here, you see a couple of files and let's go and look into this folder, what exactly these files are. So this is the file which we created and then it creates a lock file um, as name suggests. And this is for to protect uh, the configurations or uh, when someone is working, um, team needs to take a lock on these or, or, or uh, when multiple people are working on the same directory or same code in central place, then this lock becomes important. And as we go forward, move forward, we'll cover these in detail. But for now, assume that it's just a lock file we will cover as we move forward, but it creates this lock file. And then under the hidden file, which is our hidden folder Terraform, this is where it's going to download this provider. So if I go to provider and later if we download any other higher version or lower version of provider. And this is where we will be downloading and uh, this is where it will download all the pro provider version. So if you see providers and then um, LS and then if you say it's coming from registry this location and if it's from HashiCorp and let me show it on window on Windows. How does it look like? So this is my um, AWS and this is the dot Terraform uh, folder in the inside that there's a provider inside that it's coming from registry.terraform.io and from HashiCorp and for AWS and then it's 4.14.0 and then for Windows 386 and this is a binary executable application Terraform dash provider dash AWS version 4.14 and I've downloaded this. Similarly, we are going to do this for so now you have downloaded the plugin required plugin uh, on initialization phase. I'm going to show you same thing for Azure and Oracle as well for no, for you now. So now since we have uh, downloaded the plugin, you understand how to do it for AWS. Let's look at for others as well. So we'll, I'll show you two more. One is for Azure and then uh, Oracle, and then you can pick up on the similar fashion, whatever uh, provider you want, you can search and then down use this provider. The documentation is going to be under here and we're going to use in subsequent lessons as we use create. We're going to look at this documentation. What of these documentation means? So now, for Azure RM, this is the official from HashiCorp Azure Resource Manager is a provider for Microsoft Azure. So we'll use select drop down here, use provider. And it says that if the document is very nice, actually, so this should be more than enough for you to work. Now we're going to pick it like here and say this code and I'm going to go back to my Visual Studio. And this time I'm going to go under my Azure folder. Same thing. Again, you can name this file anything provider.tf or abc.tf as long as that extension is TF or I think there's one more extension um, or couple of extensions supported. We'll cover that as later. So we'll say provider.tf. Now name can be different because they are file because they are in different folder. Um, I could have I could have added it here itself, um, but I wanted to make it a little bit better. I'll explain you both of these as well by adding it here as well. So control V. This is and make sure that you save it again. Remember this dot tip here, control S. Now I'm going to initialize it, but I need to go under the Azure folder. So currently if I see I'm on this folder, I'll go a couple of folders back. Now I'm using uh, Unix because or Linux commands. I'm familiar with Linux, but you can use Windows as well. So we'll go Azure. And here now I have provider.tf, but in order for me to download this plugin, I'll use Terraform in it. Now, while it will download the similar fashion, it will download the same plugin and in similar fashion, you will have all the directory structure that we showed earlier. I'll show you one more, which is for Oracle because it looks slightly different. Uh, so again, for you to find out Oracle, we're going to select Oracle. And here we are going to look at Oracle OCI here. So we'll click on verified one. This one Oracle OCI because it's from Oracle. So if you see it's verified from Oracle and if you see the last update or published was seven days ago, version 4.75. So we'll copy this from here. And now again, ideally I should be putting it into the another folder called Oracle, but 
if you want to keep it separate, you can keep it everything into one single folder as well. But for better readability, for better management, keep them separately. Uh, for now, I'm going to show you how does it look, look like from the AWS folder itself. Now, just before we I copy it, let's look back into Azure that we downloaded. So if I go to the Azure folder, so right now I'm on here Azure and it has downloaded the similar style dot Terraform, etc. The, the way we saw earlier for AWS, similar fashion for Azure as well. Now, similarly for Oracle, I'm going to search for Oracle here. And then as I said earlier, we are probably going for Oracle dash OCI. If you look at the HashiCorp one that was last updated three years ago from HashiCorp. So we'll be using Oracle one with Oracle dash OCI. Click here and this was updated seven days ago from Oracle and we're going to use this provider. So we'll copy this script here. And for I'm going to go on to my Oracle folder. This is where I'm going to keep my files for Oracle and I'll say provider.tf. Save the file, control S, and then I go to the Oracle folder and create and say Terraform in it. And this will download this uh, similar to Oracle folder as well. So just to do a quick recap on what we have learned in this video, uh, we looked at the providers and providers are nothing but the plugins or a logical abstraction um, of upstream API, which is like the, the wherever you want to connect and deploy. We have not yet connected. We have just downloaded the plugin from HashiCorp or, uh, or from Oracle website, depending on where the providers are stored uh, or the, uh, the plugins are stored uh, for provider and then copied onto by, by running Terraform in it. We have copied it in our, uh, in our folder on here locally on our laptop. Uh, there are three different type of providers official which is from HashiCorp verified by community or oh, sorry verified by the uh, the vendor in this case Oracle we saw and the community which is can be created by guys like you and me or anyone uh, and you can also build your own provider as well and we have downloaded this pl this plugin and in order for it downloads these folders here um, so if you look at Oracle it same same structure lock file and then creates a dot hidden dot terraform folder inside that it download the plugin uh, now task for you is to um, if you've come so far leave a, a message in our whatsapp group that you have completed this video this will tell me that you're making progress and then also it will inspire others that they're performing these labs as well also uh, make sure you perform this and uh, and let me know how it goes any any problem uh, you again ask in whatsapp group now in the next video or for now we'll go into the respective modules where we go for aws or azure or respective modules and create the resources that we need so we'll first tell you how to connect to these uh, providers and then we are going to go and provision our resources as well with that this is atul from team k academy thanks for listening to this video well that was one of the video lessons taken from our training program terraform for beginners certification including extensive hands-on labs for completing or creating or automating your cloud build for various clouds, be it Microsoft Azure Cloud or AWS Cloud or Oracle Cloud. If you're a complete beginner or have just started on Terraform or you're already working on Terraform, but you're not yet certified, I would like to invite you for a approximately 90 minute free class on Terraform for beginners, where we'll talk about cloud DevOps, cloud and cloud devops cloud automation tools and then we'll talk about uh, uh, doing what this infrastructure as a code iac means and terraform for beginners what and why and who should learn this we'll also be talking about terraform certification uh, from hashicorp so if you're interested um, then i would register for a approximately 90 minute free class by going to url ktoninacademy.com forward slash terraform 02 and we'll be also doing a demo on deploying a virtual machine on an AWS cloud using Terraform. And you can use that code to, to kickstart your journey if you have not started on Terraform yet. So all you need to do is select the date uh, which is convenient to you over the next one or two days, and then enter your name and email address and click on save my seat. And then I'll see you in the free class on Terraform.